And if I close my eyes, I'll probably take a picture of this. It still looks intact. I still have my eyebrows on me. I will be showing you different makeup that I'm going to use that I know will not wash off very quickly. So you can actually use this if you're gonna swim. swim. So I got my Burt's Bees Rose Water Toner to remove the excess oils around my eyelids, my nose, and my chin. And then I got my Etude House Tint My Brows Jelly number 3 Gray Brown. And I'm just gonna follow the shape of my eyebrows. And don't worry if it's too dark right now, it's going to be lighter when you peel it off later on. And then I got my Their Real Push-Up Liner by Benefit. This is my favorite by the way. Just one click per eye, so two clicks for both eyes. And I'm going to make wings the sides of my eyelids. And then I got my ColourPop Ultra Matte in the shade Beeper. This is my favorite lately, by the way. I'm going to show you a technique on how I take out the gel from a Tint My Brows gel from Etude House. I have been using this for two months. And I have the brown, which is number one. And I also have this one, which is what I'm using, the gray brown, number three. I do notice before, whenever I do take out the gel, I see little brow hairs and... I know, like, like, that's one of those reasons why some women don't want to try this product because it's a peel-off eyebrow gel. It's like, what? My eyebrows are going to get peeled off? No, no. Relax, relax. So this is how I do it. First, I touch the tail of my eyebrows and I kind of, like, do a rubbing motion like that until it becomes like this like little balls of gel there we go now other times when I do peel this off it kind of goes like this it kind of like retreats back Keep on doing that motion, that rubbing <laughs> motion <laughs> until all of the gel is off of your eyebrow. Do easy with the shape of your eyebrows with the gel. That's because if you do go outside of the boundaries of your natural eyebrow, it does tend to show a lot. But from afar it looks fine so there you go this is the look now I do want to stress on the fact that at none of the products that I used in this video were marketed as waterproof swimming makeup but they're in fact makeup that I discovered would not come off easily in the water so here is my two cents to you I hope you liked the video. Please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on makeup styles, makeup brands, and makeup techniques that I'm going to share with you guys. And on to the next video. Goodbye! So I'll be testing this right now in the beach. And I hope this works, but if it doesn't, I will be honest with you guys. So I'm about to set my timer. Oh, it's, it's starting already. This is the this was the makeup. Now I'm going to the water. Wait, there it is. It's been an hour and three minutes. Oh no, six minutes. And the makeup looks like this. And if I close my eyes, I'll probably take a picture of this. 
it still looks intact. I still have my eyebrows on me. <laughs> I still have my eyebrows on me. I still have eyebrows. So eyeliner, although it's not that uh, solid as it was before, and my lips are amazing still. One more thing, if you're gonna recreate this look using the same or similar products, do tell me and share with me by commenting below. And if you like this video, please press the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And this has been Sean. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye-bye.